China has just made a monumental leap in space exploration and environmental monitoring. The successful launch of the Legion 1 commercial rocket catapulted 15 cutting-edge satellites into orbit, including the nation's first high-resolution methane monitoring satellite. This mission goes beyond a routine rocket launch. It's a revolutionary step that could transform how we tackle climate change and advance space technology. In this video, we'll delve into the intricacies of this groundbreaking launch, explore the missions of these innovative satellites, and reveal how China is pushing the limits of what's possible in space while spearheading the fight against climate change. On November 11th, China made a significant stride in its commercial space endeavors with the successful launch of the Lijin-1 Kinetica-1 rocket from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. This mission, which took off at 12.03 p.m. Beijing time, is not just another addition to China's impressive record of 54 orbital launches in 2024, but a testament to the country's expanding capabilities in the commercial space sector. The Lijin-1 rocket, developed by Cass Space, stands 30 meters tall with a core stage diameter of 2.65 meters and a takeoff weight of 135 tons. It is designed to deliver up to 1,500 kilograms of payload into a 500 kilometer sun-synchronous orbit, making it a versatile option for deploying multiple satellites simultaneously. This particular mission successfully carried 15 satellites, showcasing the rocket's reliability and the efficiency of China's burgeoning commercial space industry. Launching from the Dongfeng Commercial Space Innovation Test Area, a dedicated zone within the Jiquan Spaceport, the Lijin-1 mission highlights China's strategic efforts to cultivate a robust commercial space ecosystem. This area serves as a hub for various companies, including CAS Space, Land Space and Space Pioneer, fostering innovation and collaboration. A key feature of the Lijin-1 rocket is its use of SP-70 solid rocket motors provided by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC. This collaboration between state-owned enterprises and emerging commercial entities is crucial for advancing China's space technology. CASC Space, the launch service provider for this mission, is positioning itself as a key player in the international launch market. Traditionally, international payloads have been launched using China Great Wall Industry Corp. Long March rockets. However, by successfully negotiating and launching commercial payloads like Oman IRS-10 Wall-1 satellite, CAS Space is expanding its business operations beyond domestic markets, challenging established global competitors like SpaceX and Ariana Space. The payload of the Lijin-1 rocket was as diverse as it was significant, comprising 15 satellites with missions ranging from environmental monitoring to technological demonstrations. Let's focus first on the stars of the show, the Zhiguang-1-4 and 5 satellites. Developed by COPM Space, a commercial space company established by the Xi'an Institute of Optics and Precision Mechanics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, these satellites represent a major breakthrough in environmental monitoring. The Zhiguang-14 satellite is China's first high-resolution methane monitoring commercial satellite. It's equipped with a methane camera capable of detecting methane emissions with unprecedented precision. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, over 25 times more effective than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere over a 100-year period. But that's not all. The satellite also carries a chlorophyll camera and a multispectral camera, enabling it to monitor vegetation health and land use changes. The Zhiguang-15 satellite complements its predecessor by carrying a hyperspectral camera and a panchromatic camera. These instruments are invaluable for applications such as agricultural monitoring, where they can assess crop health and optimize yields mineral exploration by identifying mineral compositions and environmental surveillance by detecting pollution and natural disasters. The Xi'an 26AB and C satellites. The Xi'an series, which translates to experiment, is known for its experimental and often classified missions. While specific details about these satellites remain undisclosed, they typically serve as technology demonstrators, testing new equipment and systems that may be used in future missions. Jilin 1 Gaofen 5B and Pintai 2A3 satellites, developed by Changguang Satellite Technology Company, Limited CGST are part of an ambitious plan to expand their high-resolution Earth observation constellation. 
CGST aims to have 300 satellites in orbit by 2027, providing daily global coverage. The Yunyao-1 satellites 31 to 36, owned by Tianjin Yunyao Aerospace Technology Company, Limited, are designed for meteorological data collection. Equipped with GNSS occultation and long-wave infrared cameras, they can provide valuable data on atmospheric conditions, aiding in weather forecasting and climate research. The implications of this launch extend far beyond the technical achievement of sending satellites into orbit. They represent a convergence of technological advancement, environmental stewardship, and strategic positioning in the global space industry. Firstly, the successful deployment of the Zhiguan 104 methane monitoring satellite is a major contribution to global efforts in combating climate change. Methane emissions are a critical factor in global warming and accurate, High-resolution monitoring is essential for effective mitigation strategies. Secondly, the launch signifies a rapid advancement in China's commercial space sector. CASPACE's successful mission showcases the growing capabilities of private and semi-private entities within China's space industry. The development of the Dongfeng Commercial Space Innovation Test Area provides a dedicated environment for these companies to innovate and expand, breaking previous limitations imposed by restricted access to launch facilities. Looking ahead, CAS Space's plans for the Kinetica 2 rocket signal an ambitious trajectory. Set to launch in September 2025, the Kinetica 2 will significantly enhance payload capacities, capable of delivering up to 7,800 kg to sun-synchronous orbit and 12,000 kg to low Earth orbit. The introduction of recovery tests for reusable rocket technology by the end of 2026 indicates a move towards more sustainable and cost-effective spaceflight aligning with global trends led by companies like SpaceX. Additionally, CAS Space aims to offer suborbital tourist flights by 2027 and has secured a role in launching a low-cost cargo transportation system to the Tiangong Space Station. These endeavors not only diversify China's space activities, but also open new commercial opportunities and revenue streams. Thirdly, the international collaboration exemplified by the Oman IRS-101 satellite launch underscores China's expanding influence in the global space market. By successfully negotiating and deploying international payloads, CAS space is breaking into a market traditionally dominated by other nations and commercial entities. This move enhances China's diplomatic ties and economic prospects, as space collaborations often lead to broader technological and strategic partnerships. China's ability to offer reliable launch services and develop satellites tailored to international partners needs positions it as a formidable competitor in the global commercial launch market. The success of missions like the Lijin One, coupled with China's technological advancements and strategic initiatives, signals a new era where China is not only a major spacefaring nation, but also a key player in shaping the future of space exploration and environmental stewardship on a global scale. In this video, we have learned about China's remarkable Lijin-1 rocket launch, which successfully deployed 15 satellites, including groundbreaking methane monitoring satellites that are crucial for climate change efforts. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.